guest is a filmmaker and an explorer. He's also French. Um, <laughs> take a look at this. I'll see you in the tank. Yes. Okay. Wow. Jean-Michel Cousteau, everybody. Monsieur Cousteau, how lovely to see you again. <laughs> I'll pick it up afterwards. Don't go all Greenpeace on me. It's fine. <laughs> hey, that suit, that underwater suit, that looks kind of cool. You get a bug in there, you're in trouble. There's no cockroaches in my suit, okay? <laughs> Unlike you. I didn't get a word of that. What did he say? <laughs> I said... What you... I, what do you mean? There's, there might be a cockroach. There's cockroaches on board ships, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> Therefore, could not a cockroach travel from its place of residence on the ship to the inside of that suit and then surprise you at depth? Only if you come. That probably sounded a little bit different. The look. Well, only if I if I if I was there, there would be a cockroach in the suit. But if I was not there, then there would be no cockroach. Are you saying I'm some kind of cockroach typhoid Mary or something? Well, I have challenged you a number of times to yes. come and join us to go underwater. Yes, I know. So you can see that underwater. If you're not in that suit that you just saw, yes. there are cockroaches there. Yeah, big giant underwater cockroaches that bite your junk clean off. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 they're friends. Everything... Friends with each other, not necessarily with you. Well, it depends. It depends if you are on their side or if you have a problem with it. You know, the problem... Uh, I saw you introduce me and you say, French. Well, I, I, did, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Scottish. Yay! You're shaving me. All right, so, tell me about that suit, because that suit does look very impressive. Is that a new thing? That clearly is, I've never seen anything like that before. It's like Transformers under the water or something. I've been, since my father pushed me overboard with a tank on my back, 76 years ago, 78 years ago. Good Lord. Okay. I've been frustrated that I cannot go deeper than 300 feet. I cannot stay long because I have to decompress. Very complicated. We don't know what's happening below that. We have no idea what our life support system uh, we present. That is the exosuit that allows us now to go from the surface down to a thousand feet in five minutes, spend 10 hours down there. Good grief, really? Explore, pick up samples with scientists uh, and understand what's out there. Thousands of new species have you are been gonna be discovered. I just got certified. So have you been that low yet? No. Right. But I will yes, soon I believe you. Yeah. on the East Coast because the equipment has been moved out there after we got our is there certification. A, is there a landline? From no, the... no, no, no. You're disconnected. Totally disconnected. Wow. You can be powered with your right foot. You can go forward, backwards, left, right. With your le uh, left foot, you can go up and down. This sounds better than just not having a suit on and walking around on the surface. Well, you can move like I'm moving. You like just move like that and the arms go I no, want no, one of these. There's no ah. Don't you don't you go in your head? Like don't you go, here I come, no, I am Gusto. I'm gonna have to take you there. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, but I, I, 
is, do I have to get certified in the suit? I'm yes. a certified diver. I mean, I've been certified. Yeah, I know, but you have chickened away from diving with me right here because there are great white sharks. Yeah, wait. <laughs> I don't think the audience quite heard the last part of what you said when he said because of the great white sharks. That's right. I, so. I, I don't. I understand. I understand these are beautiful creatures with their own agenda. That's right. However, whether it's personal or not, I feel they may eat me. <laughs> if you tell them ahead of time, I'm from Scotland. <laughs> yes. They won't. They won't touch you. And, but you have to trust me. I trust you. I trust you. Implicitly. Okay, let's do it then. All right then. Can I have one of those big suits? No. Well, can I have a cage then? If you chicken, yes, you can have a cage. <laughs> oh, oh, well, excuse, ex excuse me a minute, sir, if you would please. Shut up. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, uh, I am very excited about this suit, though. That does look like it's a, like a huge thing. It's one of the most thing. exciting things that uh, has happened in my life. I honor my father for having taken us down to 300 feet. Right. And I honor Phil Newton, who is the inventor of that suit, who is going to allow us to understand what's going changer. on yeah. deeper. Yeah, it's and, fascinating. Uh, he's a Canadian guy. He is, lives in uh, Vancouver. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, it's a very, very exciting time in my life. It yeah. is. Uh, well, I tell you what, um, why don't you go and take some footage of, uh, you know, the stuff at a thousand feet and then bring it back and I'll mock it. I will. All right. <laughs> I will, but, you know, we have a deal. You and I, we have a deal. Okay, okay. Well, I don't want to dive with great white sharks, though. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I... <sighs> I went diving in with sharks in the Bahamas. I don't like diving with sharks. Sharks are aggressive predators of the deep. Uh, can't we dive with something like, you know, uh, underwater sheep or something? <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with you now. You're scared of cockroaches? <laughs> it was in my pants, Jean-Michel. My pants! We made a deal, you and I. We're going to go diving. All right, let's go diving then. Okay. We were right back.